All right, guys, today's reading is six cards, and I really did not have a particular um, sign in mind. I think I just pulled on my energy, um, but like I said, we are all connected, and if you are a Cancer, an Aquarius, or a Leo, in any place, in uh, any placement, sun, moon, or rising, um, this will possibly resonate with you. Um, I am a Cancer sun, Aquarius moon, and Leo rising, um, so any combination of those or one of one or two or any of them or maybe none of them if you're a cross watcher but um you're welcome here either way and this is going to be for whoever it resonates for but um with my energy being the only intentions that i did have i did feel like i should tell you guys it's probably gonna be more suited for cancer leos and aquarius okay um it may be even sagittarius and capricorn because i do have this heavily in my chart as well all right for um the first card it's going to represent your talents the second card is going to represent your environment. The third card will be your resources. The fourth card will be what you cannot change. Like what there's no way in hell that you can change it no matter what you did. It's one of those things out of your hands. Um, number five, what must change. And then obviously six will be the outcome. All right. For card one in your talents position, I actually pulled the six of wands. I feel like you need to be recognized for the ideas and creations that you've you know been working on. Um, you need some kind of acknowledgement that you're doing a great job. You need to be able to see that, you know, victory is near. You are, you're on the, the verge of just completing these things. Um, you need to be more confident in your own talents. Put it all out there. I mean, only you can finish, self-publish, um, whatever it is, there's something out there for you. Um, but only you can do that to move forward. No one else is going to do that, those hard things for you. The victorious um, demeanor, you know, that you're going to need, you're going to have to have that to manifest your intentions. Remember to act like you already accomplished what it is that you're working towards. Remember, like when you set an intention and you let it go and you're manifesting, you don't dwell on it. You just go ahead and pretend and act and like just do as if you already have that thing. And that is the whole point of it. So in this position for talents, I feel like you have that ability to to manifest. You have that ability to um, fake the victory, so to speak, if you have to, to just either keep your own head up or whatever it does for your self-esteem. But I don't feel like that you hurt anyone else in the process. I feel like it's completely um, something that you do for yourself. A coping mechanism, possibly. Um, but a victory is near. And you are, are very close to manifesting your intentions. Just remember that this is what this is about. Um, moving forward. Don't stay stuck. Don't focus on that. Uh, and that's one of your talents. That you're able to actually just you know say something and let it go. And not worry about it. And that's actually pretty cool. Alright, for two in your environment. That temperance. Your immediate environment has led you to a place of peace, which is strange because there was so much hell there for so long. It took a tower moment to shift you into this go mode. You needed to be um, hurt, so to speak, so you know how to help others when they felt that pain. You already know that you're here for a bigger reason. You already know you're here to guide others and to help others when they've been through hurtful things in life because you've been through them already and you're a light for people that they can see that you overcome it so that makes them give you know get the faith and the hope that they can as well but you know you have a lot of people you're going to be helping in the future not just yourself um so you really are going to have to take some time to learn and to focus um going within and do that spiritual growth you know that temperance suggests and, and just do that that beautiful patient thing and learn um you did a lot of shadow work. It's been a good few months, maybe about a year for some of you that you've been working on it. Um, so your environments, you know, I feel like you're in a heightened energetic state. Um, because, you know, maybe the eggshell walking or maybe it's just that you're getting ready to move and you're antsy. Or you know something that no one else knows because you're not sharing it. Um, but guidance and knowledge is steadily coming to you. It's changing your whole entire outlook on life. Um, and even what comes after life. I feel like you are starting to learn and getting, you're being able to get those um, downloads from the Akashic Records or whatever you believe they come from. Um, I feel like you're getting those downloads, though. All right, for three in your resources, I got the Nine of Wands, which in general usually is viewed as a, the energy with movement, passion, creativity, invention, growth, you know, inspiration, ambition, competition, desires for power, spirituality. 
even the seeds through which life springs up, you know, like creating things, like going back to that manifestation when you plant the seeds, you know, around the new moon time and we're getting ready to plant the seeds. It's kind of that situation. Um, your passion and drive for what you desire is your is your resource. It leads you. You are so hell-bent. And it's a beautiful thing that when you say you want something, you actually go after it and get it. And that's, that's a great resource for you um, because you're determined and you have that ability because you do know things and you are able to manifest so you already know it's going to happen so you just spring forward into things sometimes looking like the fool to others but inside you know that you're not on that level you know that you're far beyond the fool um you know you're a great manifester you whenever you desire something i mean anything i mean hell it's enough to spark a movement you've gotten to um, a nine because you went through all of the previous trials and good times you went through all the numbers the zero to the eight some being extremely painful. You left bunches of scars behind. This hence the bandages in the picture. Um, but in the end, you fought with yourself and those around you until you realized you were the problem. And when I say the problem, I don't mean this in the way you're assuming. I mean this in that the problem is that you're creating your own problems and you could just get out of the situation. That's what the problem you You are all, your own problem. You weren't their problem. You were your own problem. Um... But, you know, you're hunting and you needed to heal. You're hurting. And you did it with God. Nobody else can claim that um, he did that for you and through you. To so that you could show the glory that he is and all that he is to others. Now, in position four, what cannot change? The hermit. Temperance and hermit are both spiritual cards to me. You can't change your desire to know because you, that's just who you are. You know, on your excerpts from above and the dreams and that give you hints about what's to come and all that deja vu stuff. You know, you already know these things. You are destined to teach, to lead others because you're qualified to do it. Experience has taught you well and intuition is your lucky guide. Accept it and love it. It's a cool ass calling because you are here to teach others and you got to go within yourself and, and gather all that and, and bring it from a place that it needs to be brought from and, and share it with the world. All right, what must change? Two of Wands. You're restricting yourself from all the things you desire. You're stuck, but willingly. The world is yours, but only if you leave the castle. Gotta step out of your house to get onto the street, baby. You must make a decision, and it's one that you know you have to make, and it's very hard, and that's probably the reason you're not making it, that you're procrastinating. Change the habits. Find self-value. Gain the confidence and take on the world. I mean, you can do it. You have to do that. You have to make that change if you want to see what your outcome is going to be, which is phenomenal. Because in the outcome, I got the, the magician for you, which even freaking confirms to me the master manifester from the very first card. Um, you're an amazing manifester. You are going to be balanced. You're going to be even better at manifesting. Once you go through all this process and you learn and you heal and you learn what you what your abilities are and how to use them to access them and to make them work for you in a way that is helpful and not hurtful to anyone else. You know, nothing can stop you, but nothing can stop you. You're going to be the master manifester. You will be balanced. You'll be powerful. You will be able to just make anything out of nothing. Like MacGyver or some shit. But on a way, like, way more spiritual level. Like, I can't even explain that. Why the hell I said MacGyver, I don't know, but you get what I'm saying. Like, you're going to be able to do some hella shit. And I feel like there's a reason that you have to do all this. There's a reason you've got to go through this. It's not going to get easy for you. These karmic cycles will not stop. They will never stop. It will repeat it with other people if you do not fix the problem and stop the problem now. Do it while it's easy to do it. Do it when it's understandable to do it because you and this person are having problems now anyways. Do it now while it's understandable to do it. Because if you leave this person in this relationship and then you're not dealt with the other things, you're not healed, you're going to take this shit into another one and then you're going to break down and this person's going to think you're crazy because they don't know where you're coming from. But the person you break down in front of this time knows exactly where you're coming from because they know what they did to you. Break down now and get it over with. Fix it now before you try anybody else. Okay. But that's all I got for you guys. I hope um, it helps you some. If not, I appreciate you letting me read what the hell I got for me then. So... Anyways, guys, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and um, I will talk to you later.